Hi, I'm Haley, and welcome to this episode of Just Make Game. <laughs> This month we went on holidays for a week and it was absolutely amazing. We went to Swordcraft Quest. Swordcraft is Australia's biggest LARP. Uh, we've been going for a couple of years now and this one was the absolute best one we've been to yet. Basically it's set in the Warhammer universe, Warhammer fantasy, and we get to dress up and pretend that we're Warhammer dwarves for a week. So we were loud and obnoxious and annoyed everyone and it was absolutely great. Uh, we sang sea shanties in the tavern. <laughs> got to mischief and spent time hanging out with awesome people. We also did the usual thing which is feel massively guilty for not working on the game for that week which is something that we've always done and will continue to do forever. Maybe one day we can stop doing that and actually enjoy ourselves when we have time off but you know it's one of those things it's like because you work for yourself as soon as you take time off you feel guilty and you feel like you're failing at what you're doing but if you work for someone else you have a week off you don't give a shit you just go have your holiday come back and you go oh back to work. But yeah, just because we work for ourselves, it's it works differently. But I'm getting better at um, handling it. At the end of our holiday, I was really looking forward to getting back into our work routine and getting back to working on the game. I still have a couple of scenes of intro animation to get done, but I think you've heard enough about that. So that's all I'm going to say on the matter. My next set of goals in no particular order are... I want to play with the tile set and the colour palette that we've used on the first level that we've done up. So they were pretty much the first game assets that I ever made and we're not really quite sold on how they look. So I want to go back and see if I can tweak them, make them look a bit better. I want to recolour the god mask again because it's not quite right and I think it could look better with a change of colour palette as well. Once we're happy with the colour palette that we've got for that, I can go back and finish all the god mask animations. And I really can't wait to see how he looks on screen making all of his weird faces. We still need to come up with a name for the game. So Commandment is just a working title and we really need a set in stone name before we make a website and before we do a trailer for the game as well. I think I'm going to get a notebook, some wine, and some music and just sit down for a few evenings and have some brainstorming sessions so we can get a name just really nailed down. I'm really keen to start work on the tile set and all the objects that go along with it for some of the other levels. I've got some really cool ideas planned out for these levels and hopefully now I've got the technical skills to make these ideas work. So all that should keep me really busy for the next few months. Something that I've noticed while working on this project is that our days fly by so quickly. It's not one of those jobs where you sit there watching the clock just waiting for the day to be over. It's more like, oh wow, it's time for lunch already. And holy crap, I haven't got that finished yet, but I need to stop and make dinner because we're both starving. It's both wonderful and terrifying because it's a real joy to enjoy the work you're doing. But it's also scary because I never feel like I have enough time in the day to get the things done. I am so looking forward to bouncing back into some sprite based animation. Hopefully next month I'll have some new cool stuff to show you all. We have no more holidays planned until the next LARP event which is at the end of September. So it's time to really buckle down and bust out some of this game. This month I've been plugging in all the various special weapons into Commandment that you can pick up and use. I've been calling them weapons, but they're more like a sort of utility spell, I guess, for lack of a better term. The way it's currently set up to work is each player has access to a melee weapon, a ranged weapon, and a special. The melee and ranged weapons are pretty self-explanatory, use them to kill stuff, but the special can vary quite a bit, so sometimes it's a more of a utility spell, like reveal the enemies on the map or remove negative status effects from yourself. Other times it's more of what I'd call like a combat support sort of role, so things like, you know, haste, increase your movement for X seconds, or reduce incoming damage for X seconds. Other times it is more direct combat, so it's things like stun enemies in a radius, shoot out a bunch of homing projectiles, or throw a grenade. The idea is to encourage different builds and to try to balance out different builds based on what you actually find throughout the level so if you haven't been having much luck finding weapons that suit your particular playstyle, then getting a hold of a special that's more combat oriented might help 
you get you make your way through the level whereas if you've got all your weapons locked down that you want and you've got a great setup going then using a more utility sort of spell might be more useful for that particular circumstance it's been fun working my way through these abilities as I've been implementing them because um, they're really going to actually be quite flashy when the game is done. So lots of particle effects, lots of glowy sprites and things like that, lighting effects. Uh, I got to do some animation for the grenade which was nice. I feel like I haven't done any sort of sprite based animation for a while now and I do enjoy doing that. In other news I've gone and grabbed a shitty little webcam because apparently connecting our current camera to OBS for streaming is just not gonna happen so I've had a bit of a play around with OBS live streaming will begin soon I'm excited to give it a bash um, I had planned on getting our first live stream up this month but it didn't end up happening with us going away in the middle of the month um, time seems to be sort of flying by recently it's like before you know it, it's the end of another month and it's time to put another video up but hopefully live stream will be going up soon our first one first of many hopefully and you know maybe we can get this game finished before I'm 80 years old age of funding for this episode of just make game was provided by Vin Hill Tyler Hyatt Roman Kovalev Raf Bluffen Martin Schoenborg Lurkin McClurkin Ivan Makarevich Dennis Soy Connor Bowen Bumper Car Studios Ben Kurznowski Benjamin Ramsey Alan Pask and viewers like you. Oh, thanks for watching this episode of Just Make Game. We'll be back next month with more Just Make Game things, and we're going to be doing a live stream soon as well, so look out for that. Thanks, see ya. Bye.